Hi, this is uh, Numeric Citizen. In today's video, let's talk about something really cool, a craft web clipper. If you are like me, how many times did you find that it would be useful to save a uh, web page inside craft for purposes like uh, doing some research or writing articles? And right now, this is not something that we can do. Um, and for that reason, Many people over in the last few years has been, uh, have been asking for um, a web clipper to be added to Craft. Um, so right now, the only solution that we have in order to save a web page into Craft is to build a, an Apple shortcut, but it's far from um, ideal. So I would argue that um, the, the lack of a web clipper uh, hinders the use of craft in many use cases. And, and so um, I've been very vocal about that in the past and I even wrote a uh, within a Imagining Craft Future, future uh, series that I started last year where I talk about how craft could evolve in the future. Um, I did mention something that is missing and uh, I, I wrote an article that you can see the, here on the webpage um, called Imagining Craft uh, Clipper. So this um, document is a... Uh, I'm trying to kind of uh, start with what we, what we can currently have in Craft where we can save a bookmark and a few notes that goes with a bookmark into a document. Um, but so much is missing from this. Um, and so I kind of laid out the what would be the perfect uh, web clipper with a bunch of features um, and then what would be the behavior and and then I, I kind of created a few designs where uh, I, I'm trying to explain what would be the different parts of this uh, web clipper. I even uh, created uh, different um, uh, versions of this design depending if Craft uh, offers tags or not. Um, so it's kind of a work in progress. And as I'm reflecting on that, there's a few designs that I, I came up with. So uh, I'll, I'll share the link to this document in the video description. Um, so recently I found out that there is a new um, browser extension that is called Craft Web Clipper. And this is what I'm going to show you right now. The browser extensions is only available for uh, Chrome, Chrome based uh, browsers like Chrome or the Arc browser. And this is the browser that I'm currently using right now. Um, and so you just look at the Craft Web Clipper uh, name in the, uh, in the store. Um, and then the um, extension settings themselves are pretty simple. Um, I'm currently using the paid version of uh, the extension because there is one uh, version which is free. Uh, that will allow you to save up to three articles uh, per day. Um, but if you want to have more than that, you will have to upgrade to the paid version. Uh, more on that later. Um, as, an, as you can see here, um, in this paid version, you can save more than one locations where you want to uh, save your um, articles. Um, and I set up two um, places, um, and those are folders. And the way it works, it's pretty simple. You create a folder inside your um, craft uh, environment, and then you copy the folder's uh, deep link, and then you come over here in the extension uh, parameters, and you will be able to uh, create a new location for that by pasting the actual deep link in this um, area there. Uh, so you can have more than one a place where you could save your articles or your web clippings. Um, also, you have the options here that you can uh, also uh, include like uh, the author name, the source, which is the URL, if there is an excerpt, um, including the date and also the reading time. Um, and there is an ex experimental features that you can enable, which is uh, sites which are using uh, base 64 image conversions that you can try to maybe um, import those sites. Um, I did not experience that for now. So it's very simple to, uh, to configure. And then um, I'll show you how you can use that in, uh, in action. As you can see here, I have created this folder, and this is the uh, folder's deep link that I have uh, saved into the configuration of the 
um, browser extension. Um, so again, once it is done, all the uh, clippings will be uh, saved there if I uh, select this destination. So let's go back to a website. Um, the first one is uh, this article from uh, Daring Fireball, which is uh, only uh, text. Um, there's a few things that are interesting in this um, uh, web page. The, uh, the, the menu there and also the uh, present of footnotes at the end. Um, I'm curious to see if those will be extracted off, uh, with the, the main part of the article. So uh, what I can do here is go in the uh, menu there, invoke the Craft Web Clipper. And then, as you can see, it's pretty fast. Um, I can copy the link of this uh, original article right there. Uh, five minutes reading time, the author and the date. And um, this is the actual content of uh, the article. And as you can see, um, the end here, it seems that the uh, article is cut off right there. So there is no footnotes uh, available. The um, location that I'm, I want to save the, um, the article is right there. So this is the web clippings uh, folder inside craft. And also I can type some comments, something to link post later this week. So I have created this note and then I'll save to craft and then boom, I'm now in craft where you can see the note right there um, and the front matter of the article and the article itself up until the uh, cutoff here. Um, so it's very simple. It works uh, very, very well. Um, then I'll go to another website, which is this um, page where there's an image and some other, a lot of links into it. Uh, so I want to see how it will import. Again, I'll invoke the web clipper right there. Uh, same thing, the source, the author, the, the date, and I will just save it to the craft environment. And as you can see, there's uh, all the text, but I'm, um, I'm just missing some of the formatting uh, things and I can just take that and remove those if I think it's not useful like that. Um, so that's another example. If I go back to my original article, there is no uh, images there. So it's kind of weird that the image has not been saved into uh, the document. I'll try another one. So I'll go to this uh, basic Apple guy. This guy is uh, fantastic. He's doing a very good job at uh, covering a lot of things related to Apple. And he does a lot of original content too. So he created a, a bunch of stickers that you can order uh, from his website. So I'm very curious to see how those pictures will import into the uh, craft folder. So again, I'll invoke the web clipper right there. As you can see, uh, you, you can see that images are there. And again, I must order one of those. Save to craft, boom. And as you can see, uh, the images are also imported. And again, it's very fast. And I can um, browse to those um, images at full resolution. Uh, with the Craft um, Media Browser. And it's, so it's very nice. Um, for some reason, the author name is like a code block, which is weird because the other articles, it was um, um, different. And I'll try another one. This one here which is an article from Medium. I'm a subscriber to Medium, so I get access to the full content. And I'm curious again to see how this will import um, in inside uh, Craft. So again, I'll invoke the extension. The picture is there, format some formatting, and until the end. So I'm going to save that into Craft. And again, in that case, I have the excerpt right there. Um, and the actual article content, which is pretty nice. I can work with that to change some of the things in this article. So it works very well. Before the arrival of the Craft Web Clipper, I used to uh, use a different extension, which was called 
markdown load uh, markdown web clipper um, and this uh, the way the, this extension works is that the content of the web page is extracted and then saved into a folder uh, into a, a markdown file that you need to import manually after in craft. So let's see that in action. So what I'm going to do is to use the exact uh, website here that I have imported first with the craft uh, web clipper. Now I'll use a different one, which is the one I'm talking about here. So it offers me to download images or not, or uh, include the front or back mat uh, uh, matter. Um, and as you can see here, this is what the um, content of the um, article will be uh, extracted. So I'll click download here. It is downloaded on my uh, folder there. As, as, as you can see, there is a bunch of images that are in the article, also the markdown file. So what I'm going to do is I'll switch to craft and I'll import that. Click on that, import markdown files, select this file there, and the content will be imported like this with all the uh, images. So it looks to be pretty similar to the Craft Web Clipper extension, um, but the front matter is different. It's more, um, um, it's not perfect. And as you can see, you have to go through a download process before importing. So I prefer to use the other, uh, browser extension because it is faster and the uh, front matter is uh, better formatted. So this is an, an example. I'll try to do th this with a different article like this one where there's a bunch of images and I'll do the same thing where I'll select the mark download extension here. It will go on the web and then download all the stuff required there. So I'm going to select that. Uh, as you can see, the uh, article is right there. I'm going to import that file. Um, file um, hmm, right there. File, import, slight delay. Again, sticker, sticker. And as you can see, the front matter is different, and um, but the content is pretty much there. Double click on that and I can browse the full resolutions uh, of the images. So it works. It's free. This one is free. Um, and I think you can configure that too, but really I prefer the other extension because it's faster and it goes directly into the craft folder. Now I want to give you one example of use case that I'm going to use this um, very useful uh, craft web clipper. Um, and this is for replacing Readwise, which is a service where you can save um, portion of text uh, when you're reading articles on the web. Um, I decided to cancel my subscription to this service and I'm going to use uh, this extension um, with craft in order to save all those uh, text highlights. So I'm going to show you uh, how I'm going to do that. So let's say you have this um, exam, uh, this article that you are reading and then you find something that you want to save for later use. So let, for example, this uh, paragraph here, I can just highlight the whole thing. So that's the first part of the process. And then the other thing is that I'm going to go at the end of the um, text there and I'll refer to a document that I call quotes, enter. Um, and this document here, when I click on that, it is a document, a pretty plain document that I explain the, 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 the reason for this document to exist. And then if I go in the links to this page section and I click um, show, then you can see uh, one quote from this um, article. I'll go to this article again. If I take another portion of this and I again use quote here, um, if I go in this document, then you can see the second quote for this. And then it's very easy to go back exactly where the quote is located in the article. So 
that's one of the reason why I'm going to use uh, this wonderful craft web clipper. One more thing, if you are considering upgrading to the paid version of this web extension, I would suggest you to look at the video description down below to find a discount code that you can apply to the um, when you are upgrading to the paid version. Uh, thanks for the developer for that. Um, I don't know how long it will be available, so hurry up and apply this uh, discount code as soon as possible. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you learned a few things along the way. I hope that uh, you will find uh, this extension useful and maybe it will unlock new use cases like it did for me with the Readwise replacement. Thanks for watching until the very end and see you guys for another one soon. Bye.